Yeah, I know. No blue gloves. I either get crap for wearing gloves on a rotating tool or uh, get a hard time for not wearing gloves. So, uh, oh, I can't quite tell if that's in focus or not, but I think that gives you an idea. And this is without the Scotch Brite. Okay. There's no burr here, and there's no burr here either. I don't care if there's one on the inside there, but uh, uh, there isn't. But uh, the face here, there's no burr on that face, which is nice. So I'll put it back in there and scotch it, but i got to take a couple more pictures first. All right, so this is with the scotch Bright. Not a whole lot of difference. It feels smoother. A bit more sheen to it, but uh, not a great deal of difference. I, it was perfectly fine, you know, without the Scotch Bright. But uh, you know, hey, might as well uh, hit it with a little bit. This is a seal surface. So there's going to be a seal with grease uh, riding on here. So uh, the smoother, the better. And let's see here, I thought I'd show this. The target's 1.89. All right. This is on calipers. That's barely a half thou over, if. So that's right on the money. <laughs> I am extremely pleased with that. So I have it come up here and do an M1, and that M1 pauses it so that I can do this. Then I hit cycle start, and the reason I do that is because the cycle start button's way bigger than the clockwise spindle start button. <laughs> um, so now I'll hit that. That stops it for me with an M5, but it immediately goes to an M1 and pauses again. So the program's not actually ended yet. What that does is that allows me to flip this over because there's a little bit of a burr here. And on this one here, there's almost nothing. But uh, still, it's just nicer to be able to spin it and cut the burr here. So I hit cycle start again. And it gives me a good finger on the whole flat for that... Uh, ID. Cycle start again, then I can change the part out.
I'm really impressed, impressed with how well those tool paths blend in together even though there's no radius where it starts going up and where it starts coming down. Nice. Perfect. that about there was a crash I, I'm not exactly sure what happened I was trying to cheat I guess and paste new code for the roughing profile in and it crashed between the roughing profile and the finishing profile that does the chamfer and it it just didn't like cutting it for the chamfer I'm not exactly sure why or what happened but I went back and I changed it it was a test on uh, you know the speeds and feeds trying to get a cut um, I forget what it was it was a really heavy cut and it didn't break the chip any better I found that it's way better to spin it a bit faster take a really light cut and move it fairly quick uh, that seems to be a much better way to break the chips I had to reset the tool and stuff like that uh, after I did it so this is you know just a another trophy <laughs>